Hello and welcome to Coffee Break, 5 Minutes with God, 5 Minutes in the Word of God, 5 Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. My name is Michael Moret. I'm going to be reading a very short chapter, only five verses. It's Jeremiah chapter 45, and there's a very important lesson for us there. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Verse 1, Jeremiah 45. Listen, please. The word that Jeremiah, the prophet, spoke unto Baruch, the son of Neriah, when he had written these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Now, Jeremiah, as you probably know, was a very faithful prophet. He was a preacher who spoke the pure word of God at a time in Israel when it was not popular. And he was persecuted badly, and so was his partner, his assistant, Baruch. And so God has a word for Baruch. Verse 2, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, unto thee, O Baruch. Now Baruch, he's been saying some things. He's got an attitude that he has developed, and God's going to address it. Verse 3, God says to Baruch, Thou didst say, Woe is me now. Oh, Baruch was starting to feel sorry for himself. Why? For the Lord hath added grief to my sorrow. I fainted in my sign, and I find no rest. I'm being persecuted. This living for God thing is hard in the midst of a society that doesn't want the word of God and doesn't care about God. And I'm suffering because, and this is really hard, Baruch was saying, and, and you know, I'm getting tired of this. And he's kind of whining and feeling sorry for himself. And God took notice of that. And he says, Baruch, this is the kind of stuff that you're saying, isn't it? Verse 4, he continues, Thus shalt thou say unto him, The Lord saith thus, Behold, that which I have built, I will break down. And that which I have planted, I will pluck up, even this whole land. God says, Baruch, you are feeling sorry for yourself, and I know it's tough living for me. It's hard being holy in a world that doesn't care about holiness. But God reminds Baruch that he's going to have to punish his people, Israel, because they won't listen to Jeremiah. And they won't listen to the word of God. And they continue in their sin. And they listen to the false prophets who tell them nice little sermons, nice little stories. Happy, happy, happy. Everything is wonderful. Everything is fun. You don't have to repent of your sin. That's what they were listening to and, and loving. They weren't listening to Jeremiah. So God has to punish his people. The country, the nation, the people that he established, that he built, that he nurtured, that he cared for, that he protected and he provided for, he's going to have to destroy them because his justice demands that he does that. And the Bible says that God's judgment is his strange work. He hates to do that. He hates to punish. But he must if people will not repent. And so he says, Baruch, look what I have to do. This is not fun. And then God goes on to say this in verse 5, And seekest thou great things for thyself? Seek them not. For behold, I will bring evil upon all flesh, saith the Lord. But thy life will I give unto thee for a prize in all places to which thou goest. Baruch, don't seek great things for yourself. You're seeking comfort and convenience and happiness and success and popularity in this world at this time? While I'm being left out in the cold by my own people? Quit seeking great things for yourself. Quit being so self-centered. And the lesson for us is this. Remember, we are not here. We Christians are not here for fun and games. We are not here to be playboys. We are not here to be playgirls. We are here to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, not to seek great things for ourselves. The great things will come as a result of being faithful to God, and they will come in eternity. This is a Christ-centered world, and that should be our focus. For more of God's Word, go to thebibleversebyverse.com.